Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Google Ads series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about performance planner and how does it work. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, let's get to know what is performance planner and how does it work. And in the later part of the video, will show you how we can practically use performance planner from our Google Ads dashboard. Okay. So for learning more about performance planner, we'll go to the official documentation of Google. So you can see over here, we are in the official documentation of Google about performance planner. So performance planner is a tool that lets you create plans for your advertising spend and assess how changes to campaigns might affect key metrics and overall performance. Using performance planner, you can access forecast for your campaigns, explore outcomes by adjusting campaign settings, understand opportunities in seasonal periods, and manage budget across accounts and campaigns. So what are the benefits of using performance planner? First one is review your campaigns projected monthly and quarterly performance. Next one is get suggestions that can help your campaigns perform better for the same spend. Find out how your spend and performance goals are affected if you change your campaign settings. So how it works basically. To give you the most accurate forecast possible, performance planners uh, text into account billions of search queries, usually updated every 24 hours, Performance Planner simulates relevant ad auctions over the last 7 to 10 days, including variables like seasonality, competitor activity, and landing pace. After running simulations and collecting data, the accuracy of Performance Planner forecast are measured by running campaigns against their eventual performance and Google's AI is used to fine tune your forecast. Forecast conversions are based on the conversion types in the conversion column of your Google Ads performance reports. So they have given us some requirements for using performance planner across all the campaigns like search campaigns, shopping campaigns, display campaigns, discovery campaigns, app campaigns, local campaigns, video campaigns, and performance max campaigns. Okay, so we'll be using performance planner for search campaigns. So let's see what are the eligibility of using performance planner. So you can see over here, eligibility factor and eligibility requirements. So BD strategy uses manual cost per click CPC, enhanced CPC, max clicks, max conversion, max conversion value, target ROS, target CPA, bidding strategies or target impression share bidding strategies. So those are the supported bidding strategy for search campaign and runtime have been running for at least 72 hours. Recent clicks have received at least three clicks in the last seven days. Conversion minimum have received at least three conversions in the last seven day period and budget have a search lost impression share budget of less than 5% over the last 10 days. Okay. So for shopping campaigns, they have given us some uh, eligibility status or uh, prerequisite, you know, requirements. So I'm going to share this doc file in the video description so that you can study further about performance planner. Okay. So let's see how we can implement performance planner from our Google Ads dashboard. So for accessing performance planner, I'll go to the tools and settings option from the planning section. I'm going to click on performance planner. Okay. Then I have two options available here. Like I can click on this blue plus button or I'm, I can click uh, create new plan button, you know, so I'm going to click on this plus button. Then you can choose the date range from here. Okay. Like you want to forecast the performance of your campaigns for next week, next month, next quarter. So I'm going to choose next month for the time being, you know, and channel, channel I'm going to be selecting search and from the key metric section, you can choose conversions or clicks. So I'm going to choose conversions, you know, then you need to choose the campaigns that you want to see 
the performance for you know so i'm going to choose these three campaigns for the time being and i'm going to click on create okay perfect then i will name the campaign or name this uh performance planner sheet as uh next month performance perfect then you can see uh those are the campaigns have been selected so i'm gonna the forecasting period is for next month so this is uh, current month is july and i'm gonna forecast the campaign data for august you can see august 1 to 31 and from the key metric section i have chosen conversions okay so you can see over here uh they are showing some estimated results over here estimated performance so get an estimated five conversions at uh 52 dollar cpa for 263 so this would be the ad cost this would be the cpa and i will get uh around five conversions you know so you can see the performance over here so total spend is 263 conversion five uh Average CPA $52.55 and average conversion at uh, above 1%. So yeah, this is how you can uh, measure uh, or forecast your campaign performance from uh, Google Ads dashboard. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you have a clear understanding on how to forecast campaign performance. Hopefully you have liked our video. If you like our video, then you can subscribe our channel, follow our page. You have a good day. Bye-bye.